Some of the forgeries that information policy and MI5 and IRD concocted in Northern Ireland came into my possession, some through Colin and some anonymously. And this is, this is one. This is a genuine left-wing vigil. Well, I'm not sure what year this is, sometime in the 70s. And on, on it is a list of sponsors, you know, the great and the good, Donald Soper, Peter Hayne when he was a liberal, Ken Coates, these are well-known names on the left at the time, Malcolm Caldwell, John Berger, Adrian Mitchell, famous names. And they, they concocted, they took the same thing, but they added Luke Merlin Rees, Labour Cabinet Minister, Tony Benn, Labour Cabinet Minister, Paul Rose, Labour MP, David Owen, Labour Cabinet Minister. So side by side, it's exactly the same except some names have been added. Of course, in those days before computers, this was, quite a, this was quite a job to do. This wasn't, you know, this wasn't clicking on and typing it in. You had to remake the whole damn thing, which is what they did. They remade it. Th they would give the, I think with these documents, most of these were given to foreign journalists in Northern Ireland. Because a British journalist would ring, would ring up Tony Benn and say, by the way, did you know you were on that list? But a foreign journalist wouldn't. Then they were trying to create the impression that the Labour Party was simultaneously run by Moscow and pro-IRA. That's what they were trying to suggest. There's another one here. Another one here. Ulster is British. Vote Labour. This is a piece of rhetoric about class struggle in Northern Ireland as if this came from the Labour Party. Which it didn't. It's a fake. Here's another fake. To Merlin Rees, who at one point was the Minister for Northern Ireland. This is apparently from the Irish American Congress for Irish Freedom, 1971. Thanking Merlin Rees for, and this was an IRA front, this is an IRA front in Ireland, in, in America. This is a, a document, apparently, a letter apparently thanking Merlin Rees for his support. Which, of course, Merlin Rees didn't support it, but there you go, just a nice, a nice fake. What else have we got? Well, this is, these, these are the fake, this is a, this is Ian, a fake bank, a fake bank statement done about Ian Paisley concocted by, MI, I think, by MI5 or IOD, I don't know which, about Ian Paisley's finances. And there's another one here that was done, apparently a Swiss, a Swiss account held by uh, Edward Short, who was the leader of the House of Commons at the time, I think, another Labour MP, a fake bank account showing he had £30,000. Uh, here's another one. Apparently, it's a very bad photocopy. Apparently, a left-wing pamphlet Economics, Master Servant of Mankind, co-written by Dennis Healy, Tony Benn and Stan Orm. But the truth, of course, being Dennis Healy and Tony Benn couldn't stand each other and would never have written a letter together, let alone a pamphlet. An obvious fake to be handed out to foreign journalists in Northern Ireland.